All right, guys, this is the time of the year when many of you have grown out your beards and uh, you're feeling pretty good about it now. You want to know what you can do next. Um, your, your beard might be a little bit shorter than mine if you just started growing out in November, but uh, you may have um, aspirations about having somewhat of a, a lush, thick, full beard. You want to know what to do with it. Uh, or you may already be at this point and you're about to embark upon a Christmas party somewhere with your wife, your girlfriend, and inevitably pictures are going to be taken. You may, may not be too fond of it, but you figure, hey, if I've got a beard, I want to show it off. And I'm going to show you today how you can style your beard in a very, very simple way that will really make it full. Uh, it'll give it some girth. It'll, it'll, it'll look lush. And uh, it's, it's like I said, it's very simple. It's very easy to do. Now, my beard right now is just kind of a wreck. I, I have taken a shower this morning and did condition it, but I, uh, I haven't done anything else with it because I wanted to make this video. So I'm going to go through the steps with you really quick. Keep in mind that when, when I show you this, when you actually do it for yourself, it's going to go a lot quicker. Um, so don't, uh, don't pay attention to how long it's taken me. Just listen to what I've got to say and see all the way through the end. Now, pay real close attention to the time on the video right now, so you can go back and look at what my beard looks like now and what it looks like later after I'm done, and uh, you can kind of know what to expect. So let me get my beard wet as if I had just gotten out of the shower. I'll dry it and make it, I'll bring it to the point of damp, and then we'll go from there. So hold on just a second. Okay. So now, my beard is soaked, and I'm going to uh, pat dry it up here, okay? And then I'm gonna run it underneath here. Now, some, some people get real particular about how you're supposed to dry your beard, and they have like these techniques for it. Just, just run a towel through it. It's not, it's not a real big deal. You're gonna get a blow dryer on it anyway, and you pretty much wanna get products in it right away. So here's what we're gonna do. My, my, no matter what you do to your beard, uh, how much you run a towel through it, your, your, your beard's gonna be damp for a little bit because it gets, I mean, you get start getting some growth under here, uh, that moisture stays in there. So what you wanna do is you wanna take a comb. And at this point, uh, where, my, where the length of my beard is at, I like to use a wide tooth comb that looks like this. Uh, you can get them anywhere. So I'll run a comb through it. And um, what I do is I run it in all different directions to kind of get it to soften up. And uh, become a little more workable. So I'll push it up like this. I look like Karl Marx. And then I'll go from side to side. I'm not an advocate of Karl Marx, by the way, just so you know. I know I said that, but and, no, someone's gonna question that. Alright, so I'm gonna I'm gonna comb it back down. Here I go. And that's just, and that's not, that's not to leave it this way. That is just simply to kind of get it moving in different directions and make it easier to work with. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some leave-in conditioner. The brand I'm going to use today is Scotch Porter. Uh, this is what I've been talking about lately. Uh, at least on my last video, I talked to you guys about how you can save 50% on all their products for the remaining two weeks. I'll get into that a little bit more, but this is their leave-in conditioner. I like it a lot. You just take a, just a, just a very small amount. And, um, you know, like that right there. Rub around your hands. I run it through a damp beard. And it's very soft, smells so good. And this is a, this is nice prep work for your beard right here. Okay, now it feels nice, soft, and silky. <laughs> That's what I want. Soft, very soft. Okay, now I'm gonna run the remainder, remaining part of this on my head here. Okay, now I'm gonna take my comb again. I'm gonna run my comb through it just to kind of distribute it a little bit more. I'm gonna go back and forth. And believe it or not, this makes it easier when I get ready to uh, run a blow dryer through it. Okay? Now I kind of got the leave-in conditioner going through it pretty well. Now see how my beard is? It's kind of a little more narrow and because it's wet and I've got product in it, it's, it's kind of not tapering, but it's, it's narrowing, you know, down here like this. 
That's, and, and my beard won't stay that way, even if I do nothing else to it. As it dries, it will start to kind of, you know, do a little bit more. But the problem is, is if I don't style it, it will it will fill out a little bit more, but there will be there will be less symmetry. And I don't mind that sometimes. But if you want your beard to look nice for pictures, if you do want symmetry to it, if you do want to look style but not necessarily straightened, because that's what this is going to do, then uh, you're going to need to do something to it. Okay, so what I do is now I have a blow dryer. Okay, I have the I have it set on warm. Okay, and then I'm going to put it on low. And all I'm going to do at this at this point is basically just try to dry my beard, not style it at this very moment. take long does it it looks a little ridiculous doesn't it okay I'm not even gonna bother to run a comb through. well maybe I will so I run a comb through my beard a lot there's not really any real technique for this part so see I don't want my beard to stay like this right here because this is not the look we're going for in this video what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how you can you how you can style your beard basically without your comb okay this is this is going if you use a comb on your beard as you're styling it or a brush and what's going to happen is it will straighten it out maybe more than you want it to because what we're looking for here is a is a fuller beard. Okay, so we want it to kind of kind of go up into itself a little bit, but we do want it to look styled, but not necessarily straightened. So what we're what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can, you, you can use your hands instead of a comb. And you take your hands basically. You know how a barber goes through your hair with scissors and he he kind of runs his fingers up there, pinches and pulls, and then cuts to the top. We're going to do the same thing. You're going to go through your beard, and, uh, through the bottom, next to your skin, and you're going, to, you're going to pinch your fingers together like this, and you're going to pull out. Okay? That's the basic technique here as we go through this. And we're going to do the blow, use the blow dryer at the same time. So watch very carefully. I'm going to have it set on low heat, and um, I'm going to work my way through the bottom first, and then I'm going to come down from the top. So watch. I want you to notice that when I do this, I pull all the way to the very end to kind of straighten the beard, but it won't it won't remain real straight, but straighter than what it was at the beginning. Okay? You'll see the progress. Right now you're thinking, that looks ridiculous, Greg. How's it ever gonna look right? Just keep watching. I'm gonna go from the bottom. Or from the top, I mean. Now you can see I pulled it down this way. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back un up underneath, but blow dry it from the top.
The reason why I'm using my hands is because it, it will not straighten as much, but still give it somewhat of a straight look. And you go, well, you could use a comb or brush and do the same thing. I've been experimenting with this for a while. I'm going to tell you, it does not do the same thing. Now, here's, here's the thing. If you can see my beard in person, you, you would know the difference between what a comb is going to do. Like if I took a, if I took a, uh, like a rolling brush underneath, then it would, it would look even more even elongated, that which I don't want. I want it to look full, you know? Um, and there's, here's even a different size of a curling brush, a little smaller you can go underneath. But uh, I don't want that. I want it to look more natural, uh, but not quite straightened all the way. There's even this kind of brush with the closer bristles as you brush down. That will do a good job too. But at the same time, um, this goes really fast with your hands. Uh, it doesn't require a lot of technique. It's just a matter of going up by the skin, pulling out as you pinch the fingers together, and going all the way to the end while you blow dry it. From the bottom, from the top, and then blow drying from the bottom. I'm sorry, blow drying from the top as you go out here like this. What this does is it kind of flares it out and makes it look more full. Now watch. So we've done all that, and it looks a lot better right? Look at the difference. Now, what you want to do is you don't want to stop there. You want to put product in it because if, uh, if you don't, then it could look a little wild at first, especially right after you, after you use a blow dryer. It can't, and until it settles down, it may kind of, you know, bounce out and it, it'll want to do different things. So you see how this has gone out and angled? It started, it started going in at first. Now I've got it to where it's going out, but it's not completely stick straight. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the Scotch Porter Beard Balm. This is a nice creamy beard balm. It holds very, very well. You only need just a little bit. I mean, it doesn't take much for this stuff to work. And so I rub it around my hands. And what I like about doing my beard this way, the way I just styled it, is that no matter what point of the day I find myself in, my beard can be messed up and I can get it right. I can, I can make it come right back to the shape I had it when I styled it. So I'm going to go up underneath. I'm going to go on top. You see how I'm running my hands through it? And a lot of times with a styled beard, you got to be careful. You got to be careful what you do or else you mess it up. And uh, But the way I just showed you, um, you can't really mess it up too much. All right. So now I'm going to comb through that. Yeah, that's really making it manageable. Okay, and then I'm going to use their beard oil, which they call beard serum. It has biotin in it, so it promotes uh, beard and hair growth, even nail growth. Well, not necessarily probably for your nails, but so much more for your hair, because that's where it's going directly. But anyway, their uh, beard serum. And I apply, for my beard, I go about three drops. All right, all right. It smells really, really good. Very nice fragrance. Your beard's going to smell fantastic, spectacular all day long. So, come underneath here. I mean, you don't necessarily have to apply them in that order. That's how they recommend it. That's what I've been doing. And it served me well. So, yeah. My beard's going to look nice and shiny. And it's going to be soft. It's going to smell amazing and uh like i said in my last video my wife likes this a lot so now i'm gonna run a comb back through it and i would be picture ready if it was called upon me to do so and this looks more like christmas right my beard's not white so i couldn't be santa but it's starting to have kind of that full look without being stick straight you know what i mean you don't want to stick straight i don't even want it going in I want it coming out to some degree. And even during the day, at different points, you can even run your fingers back up through it to the bottom. That's if you have a beard long enough to do that with. But here we go. And uh, yeah, I'm happy with it. Real simple. It's just using your fingers, uh, a wide tooth comb, in my case, and uh, a few good products. Now, pay attention real close to this. If uh, you want to use products I've got here for the next two weeks, uh, during the Christmas season here of 2020, you can get 50% off on all Scotch Porter brands. All you have to do is look in the description box, click on the link, 
and you'll, you'll save 50%. That's a, an amazing deal. They have 13 different collections. And when you click on that link, it'll take you right to that page. You'll know exactly what you can get uh, on that deal. If you are watching this video um, past the Christmas season of 2020, uh, when the promotion is not going, you can still save some money. I'll give you a code for that likewise. It's Boswell Greg 10, and that will save you $10 on, all, on your entire order if it's over $35. So um, it's a really good deal, and I think you'll, you'll like it a lot. So check those out. If you don't, if you don't want to go with Scotch Porter, I have uh, some other beard brands that you can look at. I'll list those below likewise. Uh, so anyway, what do you think? It's picture ready, right? And you can do it too. And uh, if this is kind of more of a, a, a beefy look, but not absolutely stick straight. It's a, it's a look I really enjoy, and I think you will too, especially when you think about how simple it is to do it. Not a whole lot of technique. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. Share it with people who are like-minded. If, um, if uh, you have some bearded friends that need some guidance, send it their way. If you haven't liked this video, please do that and subscribe if you haven't already. I've got a lot of beard tutorials, and... Um, and uh, I'm glad, you, I'm glad you've made it all the way to the end of this thing. So I'll catch you on the next one. I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.